What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzie Atkins here as always. And thank you for staying with me on my beautiful channel. And to my new viewers, you just clicked on this video. Thank you for choosing this video. I do hope you subscribe to my channel. Today, I've got a special guest with me. So, <laughs> so, I have got Jade with me. I'll be doing her face for makeup. I don't really know what kind of inspiration is actually. A bridesmaid inspiration or a club look? I don't know man, the spiritual flow. <laughs> the spiritual direct. <laughs> And yes, yeah, so, and whilst we're doing the makeup, we are going to talk about something very <clears throat> juicy. juicy. She said from the background, she said juicy. So I'm gonna let Jade come in now and introduce herself. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, let's split Yash. Sit down, let's split Yash. Your Yash is bigger than mine. Oh, oh, Excuse me, just because you're skinny, yeah, don't mean you don't have back. Like, don't look at me, back. look at me, look I at you. Do not have back. Mate, you like your if face. we go to a tailor right now, yeah. your hips, uh, it's measurement, like tiny. which it, tiny? It's yeah. very tiny? Your upper body is tiny, your lower body is. Um, uh, uh, well, why are you lying? Why am I lying? Why are you lying? Look at they me. cannot even see. They it. can't see. It. They can't even <laughs> see. It. Anyways, <laughs> hello, my name is Jade. Jade Fellow, you know. Oh, is that actually your last name? Yeah. Every time I hear Jada, I'm thinking Jade, uh, Picnic, Pickett, is it Pickett Smith? How do you say her name? Pickett. Is it Pick? I have no Pink, idea. Pickett. Pickett. Something Pinkett. like that. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so. Bad breath. Hmm. <laughs> what would you do if your partner has a bad breath? Bad smelling breath partner. Yes. What would you do? Um, I, I won't want to kiss him in public. In public? Okay, so you're in the house. His breath, his breath is still gonna smell. Uh, you know, it? once in a while, I can be using my hand to cover my nose. You know. But why would you tell him? I, obviously, if I if I tell you that you have bad breath and you're not doing anything about it, so like I just have to live with you, innit? And then maybe once in a while, pull and uh, um, the what is this? Uh, Listerine? Uh, Listerine. Uh, Listerine. I to Okay, but you know, sometimes mm. bad breath can be like medical, right? It's not even their choice yeah, but to then, have bad breath. Yeah, but then they must have had like a medication to take for that, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes you do. And sometimes some people don't keep up with it. And yeah, just, that's that business then, isn't so it? So you would date someone with bad breath and not tell them their breath is smelling. I will tell you that before I date you, obviously before I, I must have, date you. Um, I, before I date you, I must have, you know, made my research, you know, <laughs> done research you and see and see what I'm dealing with, you know. Right. Ask the universe that the person I want to ask be, the universe. You, know, you have to. Oh, is it me? My partner has a bad breath. <laughs> what? Should I do about it? Should I kick him out? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> that is not. That's funny. I think you ask the universe. I don't get when people say that universe. Yeah, thing, but you, you have know. to ask. You know, you know. Sometimes the yeah, universe works together in your favor. Or something. But then that's it. That I'm saying. I don't understand how that works. Like how the whole universe. You know, they we meet Mother now. Earth uh -huh. and Mother Situation. Uh -huh. Combine both of this uh, together, you have Mother Nature. Yeah, period. And now, you know, and then they work together and produce something for, I don't know. But I just feel like nature takes its own course when it comes to, you know, certain people you meet. You get, yeah, but with bad breath, Mm -hmm. Like if you meet the person and so okay. they, they straight away as soon as they do <laughs> oh, as soon as they open their mouth eh, yeah. and you can smell it even from there you see how we're talking now yeah. and if you can smell it from there you be there hmm. <laughs> you see because if you do hmm, I'm pretty sure they will. <laughs> you're actually bad she said hmm. Hmm. Oh, you do? So, if, <laughs> all right, okay, let's put a scenario down, yeah? Okay. So, you're having, you're chatting with a friend or you're somewhere okay. outside shopping or so. Let's say shopping, yeah? Okay. And then the guy with the bad breath comes and chats you up. What would you do? I'll leave. 
Just because. Okay, so but he's fine as cute. If, okay. 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 In my bag, extra. Okay, you read. You actually just read. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the truth, though. Like, if if you have bad breath, yeah. Obviously, if you're gonna be around people that, okay, maybe family or friends or whatever, like, yeah. Mm. If your breath is gonna be stinking, and they can't tell you that your breath stinks, innit? So obviously, if you know that your breath stinks, you make sure you have extra in your bag. You know, just be putting it, but <laughs> chewing, chewing. And then if you end up having gum problem, then you know that's your business. You should not have had bad breath in the first place. <laughs> that's it. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm done with you. She said you should not have bad breath in the first place. You're not. It's nice. the truth, people. Yeah. No, but yeah. it's the truth. Okay. Like if, if okay, I'll give a scenario now. Right. I, I met a I met a guy. Right. And guy, if you're watching, look and I met a guy and. <laughs> You know, I actually felt like his vibe. I was feeling his connection and everything. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. while this man was talking to me, oh my god, his breath was so bad. Wow. But I didn't want to tell him that you know you have bad breath. Because yeah, obviously some people. You just met. Yeah, and some people are gonna find that offensive. So I was like, oh, so when he was talking to me, this was me. I was just, I was just using, I was using style style. To cover my nose a little bit, oh, you know. God. You know when, when when I try to scratch my head, I'm, if he's talking directly, I'm doing this. Like, <laughs> and then the idiot now say, "Oh, oh, can you give me a kiss?" See, men with bad breath and their confidence. Why do you think you need to give me a kiss, please? With your dirty ass, like a dragon mouth. Who asked you? Like, I beg, please tell me. No, men that have confidence and they have. And then they're like, oh, but I'm a good kisser, though. Uh, no, your breath smells like onion. Like ah! an onion. That's what your breath smells like. A bomb. She said onion. <laughs> your spray up breath smells like onion. Onion. <laughs> onion. <laughs> so, if, if, so, a guy moves to you. Yeah. I will leave. But he's good looking, like I don't the care if you're good looking. Michael Even if looking. the universe is telling me, but it, I'll say the fact that the universe is telling me that he has bad breath. No, the universe is telling you to that that's your man. No, but then the universe is also telling me that he has bad breath. <laughs> so obviously, I have to pick which one is priority. Exactly. So what's priority? Priority is your about stinking. Ah. All right. So you're dating your man, mm-hmm. or you've dated the, someone. And then, okay. When you first met them, obviously, like you said, they had like extras and everything, and they've been putting their breath issue under control. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. But obviously, you know how people do. People get comfortable with you in like along the relationship, along the line, you get comfortable. Mm-hmm. You, you tend to start forgetting things that you used to do okay. when you were still pursuing this person. And then you start to notice his breath is starting to kick. What do you do? Um, like you're in, you're in the relationship. Like the relationship is looking like marriage. Okay. Um, I guess I have no choice but to leave with it. And leave with it. You will not speak up. I will speak up. Like I will try and take him to like GP. You know, to find out what's really going on right. with, um, with his condition because it has to be a condition for your breath to be stinking like that. You get what I mean? Mm. Like. Yeah. But yeah, I'll tell you, we'll say let's go, let's go see GP to know what's going on and if we get there, if they tell us that, okay, maybe brushing his teeth every day could be the solution to the problem, then yeah. If not, then we can seek, you know, medical advice. You can seek if I... You know, you just fool, you just saw us in the fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I'll just give them like what? Not Listerine, because Listerine is for just it's just not more daily routine, isn't it? Yeah, but with daily routine, yeah, it could get better. You know, with the bad breath, it could. You know, because I feel. I like, think there is actually something for that. Like, um, was it Cosadil? Yeah, yeah. I think I know that. Yeah, one. that's mm-hmm. that really like. Yeah, but you know, some there's some people that even after using that, yeah, it still doesn't save that bad breath. Wow. He really doesn't. Okay, so okay, you've now tried everything and his breath is not getting saved. Eh, uh, you have to deal with it, no honey. Wow. I mean, you have no choice. If it's the love of your life, you can't say because of bad breath now. 
you now want to send him package. You might be thinking about it. I might be. So you cheat on me because of that? No, ah, uh, no. <laughs> if it, if that's a good porn, why not? Ah! Oh, shit. Yeah, if that's a good porn, yeah, then obviously porn means no, no not meaning. You know, you know, meaning. Okay, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know what porn means, then you know. <laughs> then you know what I'm talking about. So if he has a big porn now, yeah. Then is then you can overlook the whole bad breath situation. You can because if he's if he's doing if he's giving you that porn like that, that <laughs> it's just just you. <laughs> you can overlook the fact that he has a bad breath because you know there'll be some girls dying to have someone like him with bad breath with bad breath and they won't know that his breath is motherfucking killer. <laughs> It could bring it into a fish and the fish would die straight away. Literally. Like literally. That's the level of bad breath we're talking about. I think that's bad about him yet. Exactly. And like then I won't mind, you know, just just sticking, sticking around. around for it. Yeah, because bad breath doesn't really define the person. Exactly my point. Like, you know, as long if the person is not a douchebag in the first place, then it should be fine. I mean, bad breath is not a big deal, but it's also a big deal too. Because if you go out with your man now and his breath is just you just <laughs> to other killing, people, the fishes. and then they'll be looking at me like, "But why didn't you tell your man that his breath stink?" And then I'll just be looking at them like, "The dry thing that they don't know." Like, thank you for making it so obvious. Like, but yeah. So, if would you introduce him to your other friends? I would. I would, but I just tell him to first put chewing gum in his mouth first or pull his in before he goes and talk to him. <laughs> yeah, but what if it's a thing where it's wash it, like it comes yeah. after? Okay, what if it's a timed mouth breath, like no matter what you use? Wait, like, there's a time? <laughs> so, the mouth spray. Uh, with the mouth spray, you know, you can you can have the little mouth spray thing, doesn't... <laughs> You just, you know, you know, just spray here and there, and you know, and then when you want to talk to, and to be honest, yet, I don't think it matters because if he has bad breath, he has bad breath. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just for how mature the people that is with, mm. how mature they can be, you know, around him. Yeah. And, and as long as they don't disgrace him, him or her, but him or her, a, him or, but, but obviously okay, because we're talking about a guy. So, we're well, women, so we we'll yeah, talk about guys. Mm-hmm. So him or her. If it's if it's him or her, yeah, then if 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 his friends are really his friends, then they shouldn't mind it because uh, I'm very sure you met him like that anyway. So you should know. Well, well. Exactly. So uh, to be honest, I don't think it should matter. But if I take my guy out and his breath is still stinking, or um, uh, they have to they have to go away like that too. So, yeah. But I think people shouldn't be ashamed, regardless if it has a butt in it, you know, if it has a There's bad always going to be a butt in yeah, every true. relationship. Like, true, there is. There's always a butt. But it's how you deal, it's it's how how you you deal, deal with, with the butt. Yeah, it's how you deal with it and how much you If you're are. looking for a, a perfect, hmm, you can perfect never find perfect. perfect. You can perfect never find breath, a perfect ATM. Muscle, bed, gang. Six foot high. Oh, but, but hold on, you might even find them and then they'll be a douchebag to you. Exactly. That's still the buff. That's still the buff. Like, there's always, always, always. 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 Don't think them celebrity wives are not having their butts on them. Yeah, they, they do, but they don't just, come on TV they have saying it. Say, okay, for example, Jay Z and Beyonce, they have so much problem with being. Their relationship, man, their relationship well. but they're still, they're still going. Mm-hmm. In, like, and you never hear it on TV unless they make it like. Proper, I said they um, need that publicity to exactly, get them for something. Exactly, exactly my point. They use, so if they your use husband sense. has bad breath, so instead of you to be going, hmm, I'm coming, your 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 enemy is tafafon, is tafafon, is tafafon, you know, it, we don't need that. I mean, no one needs to know. Exactly, no one needs to know that your husband or your boyfriend has a bad breath. Even your friend, even if your friend has a bad breath, you just take it like that. I mean, no, you tell them. If you, you tell them, friend, obviously, you tell them. you tell them. And you, you know, and there's a way you'd say it. Like, yeah, don't make it obvious. There's like, always a way to say things. Always. True, true. But I feel like whenever I want to say it, it just comes out no, rude. Yeah, exactly. Jay, do you know what I'm Like, Jay, <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay is rude in general. I'm not rude. No, no. <laughs> even when she's trying to be nice. When the, it's it's not, not my fault. Though. Even when you're trying to be nice, it still comes out rude. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> saying with. So, you have bad way. Plus. Plus. 
and plus you're bad in bed, bruh. Yeah, go go. <laughs> go get no, no. See, I I did not mind the fact that your breath is like this. It's concubility. <laughs> and now you're not telling me that your partner is not good in bed. Ah, come on. <laughs> I am not doing it again. <laughs> I got go. ah, Thank you, Kiss Daniel, for making that song. You know? Oh. It's for people like them. How can you have bad breath and also have. Uh, uh, and also not good in bed? No, man. And you know what I hate most? Men that they don't last long, but then they want to, like. Chatting, oh my god, I'm so good. I, I think it's every guy. No, I think it's a no, guy thing. some guys, t- if some guys, they do you know what? Yeah, they yeah. tell you, no, 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 yeah, <laughs> they tell some of them, tell you, no, yeah. I feel like guys don't tell you, like, if they're bad, they will wait for you to say, like. Mm, but their bad might not mean you're kind of bad. Do you get what I mean? Because, say, for example, I feel like the ones that don't talk a lot are the ones that you know. They know their shit. You know what I'm saying? Beep. <laughs> no, but those ones that they do say it too. Some of them, they're actually good in bed too. No, some talkers are, some people are just talkers. Mm-hmm. Oh, told them, you know. <laughs> so, I had experience one time, yeah, with one of these niggas of mine. And one off. <laughs> one, sure. My G. Let's add My it. G. Mm. My G. This she guy, I've been, is, she's, he's been gassing, saying, oh, I can't wait to meet you. You know, we're gonna have so much fun. Da, 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 da. And I was like, yeah, you know, I was, you know, when someone has been sending you, you know, some really juicy stuff mm. and they've been hyping themselves like the Your expectation shit, is not And the expectation high. is like high, high. Uh-huh. You see? And then the day of let's do the team. <laughs> um, after two minutes, it wasn't even up to two minutes. I actually timed it. Whoa! And my nigga said, ah, you know what? Let let they can they can You know, mind you say. <laughs> and you know what? I, I I looked at him. I was like, <laughs> is that it? So imagine that plus the bad breath. Ah, I'm um, bro. You're packing your stuff and leaving my house. No. Do it. No, nah, you know what? When life hits you, it hits you like the bad breath. And okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>